Okay, so in the last class, we are done with the limiting reactant. Now we are going to do percentage yield. Okay. So basically, percentage yield is the amount of product form. Hence, percentage, basically yield means the product, right? That how much the product is formed, that is the yield. So when we talk about percentage yield, that it means that how much, how much in percent the product is formed and how much it is supposed to be formed. The, we take the percentage from these two values. For example, the formula will be practical value divided by theoretical value or calculated value times 100. So the practical value, see, the it's itself is expressing. It means the value which is actually, uh, we got it after the experiment. So in the exam, are you doing the experiment? No. So it means this is the value which you really provided by the examiner that the uh, student avoid did this and as a result, this much product is formed. So the that amount which is provided to you, it's a practical value. Is this understandable? And theoretical value is the value that we usually calculate. That's what we were doing in the previous classes that from the ratios, for example, see, uh, let me show you the question. See, like this, that we have to calculate the mass of iron. So whatever we do it by the ratio method by calculation, that is usually the theoretical value, okay? So theoretical value is the one which we calculate on our own. That is also called calculated value. So practical value divided by this theoretical or calculated value times 100 will give me the percentage yield. Now, what is percentage purity? It purity refers to the reactant which we are using that how much pure it is. Okay. So to find the percentage purity, we will use the calculated value over actual value. So actual value is the one which is used in the experiment. And calculated value is the one which we calculate it by the ratio method. Okay. Now, in the previous classes, we did it by taking the ratio. I have told you three way, three three steps. The examiner have given you a mass or amount of something. In first step, what you need to do? You forgot. See. Whatever given to you, you have to convert it by using the specific operation into its moles. Then the substance which is required, you will take the ratio of both of them. By keep taking the ratio, you will get the moles of the other substance and then convert it into whatever the quantity is asked. So this is the th theoretical value, which we calculate by ratio method. Okay. Till here, is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. So whenever we say percentage yield, it means they are asking to calculate the theoretical value. You have to calculate the theoretical value with the ratio from the balanced equation and then put the values in the formula, in this formula. Calculate the theoretical value of the reactant. If the examiner asks you to calculate the percentage purity, you will calculate the theoretical value of the reactant with the ratio from balanced equation and then put it in the well, formula, use values to find it. Okay. Just complete this quickly. Then we will do the questions.
please do it quickly so Sir? Yes. Sir, uh, what is mean by this that hence percentage yield means how much product is formed as compared with the calculated amount of product? See, uh, the, it means that obviously due to the some impurities, the, the amount that of the product that is formed will not be the exact amount which is supposed to be formed which is actually when we calculate it we always get the maximum yield the 100 percent yield of the product and when we do perform the experiment due to the impurities present in the uh, reactant we never get the actual that exact amount but always lesser than that amount lesser than the calculated value right yeah okay is everybody done till here Yes. Yes. Is everyone done till here? If anyone is still left, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll move to the question. Then you guys will do the question. Okay. Now, have a look at this question. A student uses 2.8 gram iron to make 12.5 gram hydrated iron to sulfate crystals. This is 90% yield. So see, in this question, if you see, the examiner is provided you the... What examiner have provided you? 
So, how many of you understand the question? Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I didn't read the message. See again. It's adjacent to main campus. Sir, it's 13.9. Okay. So, basically, if you see, this one is which value? See, isn't it a practical value or a theory or experimental value? Because see, this when this is formed, then it's 90% yield. So we know the formula of percentage yield. If you recall the formula of the percentage yield, it's percentage yield is equals to practical value over theoretical value multiplied by 100, right? So how many classes you have missed? Two, right? Okay. I have uploaded all we were doing moles, right? So three of the videos are were uploaded on the YouTube and the next two will be going to upload it today only. So do watching from the start. So percentage yield. Okay. Now here I got the percentage yield, which is Ninety percent, right? We know the practical value, which is twelve point five percent. We don't know the which value we don't know. The theoretical value, which the examiner is saying that hundred percent yield. What will be the amount times hundred? Now calculate the value of x. So if I make the x subject, so it will be twelve point five divided by ninety multiplied by hundred. Yes, what will be the answer you guys are getting? Thirteen point nine. Thirteen point nine. Is this understandable to all of you? If any one of you has any confusion, please ask. <sighs> Sir, question me to mass bola. Okay. So it's a mass. See? Yeah. The thing is that they have told you the percentage yield, right? And yes. for this percentage yield, experimentally, this value has been formed, right? So see, yes. I have used the formula percentage yield is equals to practical yield over theoretical, practical value over theoretical value. So the practical value is 12.5 and the theoretical value is going to be X, which is 100%. Okay. okay. Now, question number two. How you will do it? In an experiment, 11.6 gram of ethanol. Okay. In an experiment, 11.6 gram of alcohol is reacted with an excess of carboxylic acid. The experimental yield of propenyl ethanoate. So it's yield, it means it's a product. Yield is always for the product, right? So that is 6.72 grams. And they have given you the formula of this as well, that it's 100. Now they are saying show that the maximum possible yield of propenyl ethanoid is 20 grams. So it means they have given you the theoretical value and they are asking you to calculate it to show it that it's this value. Okay. So it's propenol. So the alcohol over here that is used from this name, remember this part of the name comes from acid and this part of the name comes from 
alcohol alcohol okay so it means it's propenol and for propenol it is ch3 ch double bond choh so it is going to be c3 how many h are there six right c3 at six o so what will be its mr Guess who is going to tell me it's MR? Fifty-four. Sir, fifty-four. Fifty-four. Three carbons makes it thirty-six. Thirty-six and sixteen. Forty-six, fifty. Are you sure it's fifty four? Isn't it fifty eight? Yes, sir. It's fifty eight. It's fifty eight. Okay. So whenever we have to calculate the amount of the product form, what we will do? There are three steps. The first step is. Whatever is given, convert it into moles. So I have given with the alcohol. So let me turn the alcohol into its moles. So the mass of alcohol is given. So mass would be converted into moles by dividing it with the MR. Yes, can anyone tell me the answer? That is practical value or experimental value. Yes. 11.6 divided by 58. 0 0.2. Can anyone cross check please? So we got yes, sir. zero point two. Okay. Now we have to take the ratio of alcohol and propenyl ethanoid. The ratio of both is one is to one. Sir, how do we know? Uh you you didn't uh done with the organic, right? Yes. So we are going to start organic after the mole. So in the organic, you will study these questions. And in this question, whenever the alcohol and carboxylic acid reacts in these reactions, they will form ester and water. The mole ratio is always one is to one. Okay. So if yep. it's 0 0.2, then it is going to be X. And if I'll calculate the value of X, what I will get? 0 0.2 moles of propyl ethanoid. Clear is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Then what I will do? I have to convert it into a mass because I have to show that it's 20 grams. So if you recall the formula of mass, mass is equals to moles multiplied by MR. So the moles of propenyl ethanoid is 0 0.2 and MR is 100. Multiply them. Isn't it going to be 20? 0.2 into 100 is 20, right? Now what they are saying, calculate the percentage yield in the next part. Okay, so if you have to calculate the percentage yield, see, this is the practical value and this is we got theoretical value. So the formula states that percentage for percentage yield, practical value over theoretical value. So the practical value is 6.72, theoretical value is 20 times 100. So you will get the percentage yield. It's around 35, I suppose. 6.72 divided by 20 times 100. 33.6. Yeah, is this clear? Yes, if anyone of you has any confusion, please ask. Sir, can you please explain the first part again? In the first part, okay, okay. 
I can understand what is the problem over here because in this question, no equation is given. So usually in this kind of a question, equation is given and it's basically based on the knowledge of your organic chemistry and we are not done it with yet. So this first part, is let me show you how it how is this yeah this first part is like the first part of this question what they are saying see calculate the maximum mass of barium sulfate that could be made and if you see you are given with the equation so this is the barium sulfate and i have to find its mass right that's what examiner asked and what I am given with 20 centimeter cube, which quantity is it? If it's centimeter volume, volume. centimeter volume, 0 0.550 mole per dm cube means concentration, concentration, very good of barium nitrate. So see here we have a barium ion. So it means that this is these volume and concentration are of these barium ions. Is this understandable? And they are yes, asking, sure. you have to calculate the mass of barium sulfate. So it means the barium sulfate is the one which is required to me. Is this understandable? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, which part you need to understand? Sir, you be maximum barium sulfate jo aap bata rahe the. they are they ask you to calculate the maximum mass of barium sulfate so it means barium sulfate amount is required to me right it is not given yes. that's what i am saying did you understand yes sir and this is given to me right and it is of this barium okay so what I will do, I will find the moles and in this case, how I find the moles, I am given with the volume and the concentration. So how we will find it from the volume and the concentration, if you recall that number of moles is equals to concentration times volume and that volume must be in decimeter cube. So the concentration is 0 0.550 times volume is 20 centimeter cube. So I have to divide it by 2000 to convert it into centimeter dm cube. Till here, is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes, can anyone tell me the answers, please? 0 0.011. 0 0.011. 0 0 0 More. OK. Now, what will be my second step to take the mole ratio of the given and the required? Given is a barium ion and required is the barium sulfate, right? So, in the equation, if you look, what are the ratio between these two? What is the ratio? One is to one. One is to one, one because there is no moles. It means there is a one mole over here. There is also one mole over here. So, the ratio is one is to one. So the barium ions are 0 0.011 is to X. So if I'll find the value of X, it is 0 0.011 mole. So I got the moles of barium sulfate. Now what I need to do, I need to convert these moles into mass. So to find the mass, if you recall, you are given with the moles. So you have to multiply those moles with the MR. So the moles I have 0 0.011 and the MR is written over here, the relative formula mass 233. So see, that is the mass of barium sulfate, the maximum mass of barium sulfate that can be produced. So it means it's a calculated value or the theoretical value. So what answer we are getting? 2.563. 2. 2.56563. So if you will round it off to three significant figures, it you will keep it 2.56 because the next one is smaller than five. Is this clear? 
हेलो यस सर ये राउंड ऑफ करना जरूरी है यार सर ये कंफ्यूज करता है सर नो इफ यू इफ यू हैव एनी कंफ्यूजन यू कैन कीप द होल वैल्यू ओके यू विल कीप इट 2.563 ओके व्हाई डिड आई राउंड इट ऑफ सी इन द नेक्स्ट वन आई एम गिवन विद द थ्री सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स सो दैट्स व्हाई आई केप्ट द सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स 3 सी अ मास ऑफ 1.92 ग्राम ऑफ बेरियम ड्राई सल्फ of dry barium sulfate is obtained so it means this is the practical value because it is obtained so it means the experiment has been performed and after that we got this result and it means that this is the theoretical value because this is the result that i have got from the calculations not by performing the experiment right so calculate the percentage yield of barium sulfate so i got the maximum mass or the theoretical value of barium sulfate i got the practical value i will put in the formula of percentage yield that is practical yield or practical value over theoretical yield or theoretical value times 100 so practical value is 1.92 Theoretical value is two point five six times hundred. Yeah, what are you getting? Seventy five percent. Okay. Now is this understandable? Yes, sir. So now, did you understand this part first part? Yes. Yes, Aisha, Mustafa, Mustafa, Saad. Ji, sir, samajh aa gaya. नाउ दिस वन इज फॉर यू गर्स डू इट क्विकली सो इफ यू सी द फर्स्ट पार्ट potassium sulfate can be prepared by reacting aqueous potassium hydroxide with dilute sulfuric acid in an experiment 20 cm cube it means it's a volume of 0.650 mol per dm cube it means it's a concentration of sulfuric acid so it means these are the given amounts right and of what sulfuric acid this is just neutralized by aqueous potassium hydroxide calculate the maximum mass of potassium sulfate so it means it's required right so as i have told you whatever the is given to you first convert it into moles so moles of sulfuric acid would be identified by would be calculated by multiplying concentration into volume and that volume must be in decimeter cube so the concentration is 0.650 and the volume is 20 Which is in centimeter cube, so I will multiply it with thousand or sorry, divided with thousand to turn into dm cube. Now, can anyone tell me the value, please? Zero point zero one three. Zero point zero one three. Zero point zero one three. These are the moles of sulfuric acid. Then we will take the ratio of moles of sulfuric acid with potassium sulfate. So, if you see, the ratio is. One is to one. So if these moles are zero point zero one three, then x the value of x would also be going to be zero point zero one three moles. So I got the moles. Now if I have to find the mass, I have to multiply these moles into mR. So the moles one. are two point zero one three, and mR is one seventy four. Yes. Two point two six. Two point two six grams. Okay. Now, after crystallization, one point seven two gram of dry potassium sulfate was obtained. So, see, it's a practical value because it is obtained. Calculate the percentage yield. So, the formula is same. Practical value divided by theoretical value times hundred. Gives you the percentage. Yes, what is the answer? 
اوكي ختيجة Seventy-six. Seventy-six percent. Yep. Okay. Now, how you guys will attempt this one? Sir, hello. Yes. Sir, yeah, after purification, the percentage of silver nitrate. Sorry. Jo hai after purification, the yield of silver nitrate is 80%. Yeah. They have given us that Sir. yield. So it means they are asking you if the yield is 80%, then how much mass is produced? So in actual, they are asking you the practical value. See what is given to you? Volume. And concentration of what? Nitric, nitric acid. acid. And what is nitric acid? This is nitric acid. Right? So first I, yes, want to, I will convert this concentration and volume into the moles. So what moles I will get? Zero point zero zero four five. Are you sure? Okay. So these are the moles of nitric acid, right? Now I will take the ratio between nitric acid and silver nitrate. So what is the ratio between these two? Sir, two, two is two two. Which means one is to one. Right? Two yep. is two or one is to one. So 0 0.0045 is to X. So I will get the moles of silver nitrate, which is also zero point zero zero four five. Okay. So now I have to find the mass. Zero point Sir, MR ko multiply kar dhingi na mole sir. 170 into 0 0.0045. 45. What is the answer? 0 0.765. Okay. This is the mass, but this is not this mass. Because they have asked us this mass is when the yield is 80%. We just do the simple calculation. So it is basically what it means. It is a hundred percent. So either you take the ratio hundred is to this and 80 is to X. Either you can do that or otherwise you can use the formula. The formula was what percentage yield is equal to the theoretical uh, value upon practical value. Oh, sorry, practical value, which we have to find practical, practical value. value 
times hundred. So either you will do it by this way. So you make the x subject. So it would be eighty into zero point seven six five divided by hundred. Yes, can anyone tell me the answer, please? Six point twelve into ten to the power. No. Yeah, zero point six five. Six one. So this is the mass of silver nitrate when it's a yield of eighty gram or eighty percent. Is this clear? Sir, zero point six one are. Yeah. 18 to 0 0.765 divided by 100, you will get 0 0.61. Jesus, sir, sir, medical calculation. Okay. Now, this one is for your homework. Take the screenshot and do it in the... And then WhatsApp me. So, probably from the next class, we will be doing... Yeah, we will be starting organic chemistry. Okay. Okay, so we will keeping the class till here. And in the next class, we will start with organic chemistry. Sir, organic is the last chapter. Yeah, this is the last topic of the. Okay, sir. Okay, take care, everyone. Allah Okay, sir. Allah Allah